What's going on contenders? Today I want to show you some combos to really build up your head movement flow, to show how your head and hands can connect so you can keep applying pressure. A lot of fighters in the beginning when they're working head movement, they're, they're working it in isolation and then throwing their combo and then maybe a duck here and there. But with this flow, you can allow yourself to keep pressure on the opponent, keep pressure and kind of stay in your groove and in your rhythm. Now I would say to treat these combos almost more like drills. They are practical in, in the order that they're in, in little segments. But you wouldn't necessarily want to just go to someone like that, although you could. Treat them as more like drills, because I got six of them, and we mix head movement and punches in almost every way imaginable. I'm gonna break them down for you right now, all six. You can practice them and work them on your own so you get the flow. If you want to do these combos, these exact ones, as a workout, Go to my other channel, Boxing Home Workouts, link is down below, and you can actually do these as a workout where I take you through like, like six to eight rounds of working these as a workout, so you can go beyond just learning them and do them as a drill. All right, so the first combo we're gonna work is this. Pull, one, two, duck, two, three, slip, three. Okay, so we're working all different types of head movement together. With the pull, just get used to that motion at first. Don't, don't try to rush it, become too stiff. So get your body used to it. Keep the chin down when you pull, okay? Pull, one, two, duck, two, three, slip to the left, three. Now you could work this as like a straight on attack, but I say work it as a drill, get into a flow with it. Pull, one, two, duck, two, three, slip, three. Okay, and then just set yourself up, line up again. Pull, one, two, duck, two, three, slip, three. Okay, I'll have these written down below for you as well. Pull, one, two, duck, two, three, slip, three. Okay, the back is gonna move sometimes. Pull, one, two, duck, two, three, slip, three. Pull, one, two, duck, two, three, slip, three. All right, so that's a nice combo to get the head flowing. Working off the pull in the one, two. We'll go on to combo number two, which is similar, similar to this, but it's kind of like the reverse. All right, so in order to create some balance, we work these same head movements, but we start with different punches. So you get the feel for how the body goes left, right, left, right. So here, pull, two, three. All right, so instead of pull, one, two, pull, boom, you start with the right side. Three, duck, three, two. Slip, two, all right? So here I go, pull, two, three, duck, three, two, slip, two, all right? And you get used to that flow, ducking under different shots, moving your body both ways. Hands up, pull, two, three, duck, three, two, slip, two. Pull, two, three, duck, three, two, slip, two. Pull, two, three, duck, three, two, slip, two. All right, and you don't even have to go fast. You just go into your own flow. Pull, two, three, duck, three, two, slip, two. Pull, two, three, duck, two, slip, two. As you get into the flow, as you get smooth, you're gonna build up the speed and power nice and easy. Just start Bam. with that flow and get going. All right, you guys, combo number three, we're working multiple slips. We're starting with the slip. This is more forward pressure. So here, you slip to the left. One, two. You can do this while advancing. Here. All right, if you want. Slip. One, two. Slip right. After. Because as soon as you throw, they're going to counter back. Slip. Up, up, slip. Right hand. Duck. Two, three. This is a pure pressure combo. Slip. You chase someone all the way down the ropes. Okay? So here, you're working on the bag and the flow. Slip left. One, two. Slip right. Two. Duck. Two, three. Okay? And just get used to that pattern and use of the flow. Build up the speed. Slip, one, two, slip, two, duck, two, three. Slip, one, two, slip, two, duck, two, three. Find a groove. Slip, one, two, slip, duck, two, three. All right, you just keep going like that. And building it up, you're gonna get some excellent pressure moving forward along with head movement and punches together. All right, combo number four. We're gonna balance it out, okay? So here we go, slip. Slip to the outside, two. Now, slipping to the outside and coming back can be dangerous. You can walk into a right hand. It's one of the more risky ones. But if you know you can time and you're fast enough, boom, boom, it can be very effective. So, from here, slip to the right, cross hook. Slip to the left, hook, duck, boom, all right? Here we go. Slip, boom, boom, slip, hook, duck. Okay, so we're putting head movement punches in different order off different sides. So you get used to all possibilities. You get that flow going, get into that flow, okay? Don't worry about speed in the beginning. Here, slip, boom, boom, slip, boom, boom, boom. 
Okay, find your range. Slip, 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 slip. Okay, and you build into your flow. Okay, slip, boom, boom, slip, boom, boom, boom. All right. Okay, you just keep working it. All right, you keep working it till you get to a nice flow. All right, combo number five is gonna be the most awkward because we're working a pull in the middle of a combo. So you change direction. You literally, from your flow, you boom, you break and you change direction. Very practical if you're fighting on the inside and someone starts to see your rhythm, boom, and then you break it. Also, we work both sides. So you break it down for you like this. One, two, duck, two, three, pull, two, three, slip, three. Now here's the thing, when I go like this, one, two, duck, two, three, my body is turned this way. For some people it's natural when they pull to square up and that's a legit movement, right? Because they went that way, they go that way. You see like Muhammad Ali in Frazier, that famous photo, right? He's like this. But also, if you just put on the brakes, you can go two, three, hmm, Mayweather style, where you stay right in your position, okay? And you go from there. So this is the part that's gonna be hard for you. So anyways, let's go to it. One, two, duck, two, three, pull, two, three. So just know that it's the same set of punches in a row. One, two, duck, two, three, pull, two, three. Then slip, three, okay? It's the same two in a row. So it goes here. One, two, duck, two, three, pull, two, three, slip, three, all right? Get into that flow. One, two, duck, two, three, pull, two, three, slip, three. One, two, duck, two, three, pull, two, three, slip, three. But again, these are just flows that you can work with for different possibilities. You can make up your own if you want. Just go with it. One, two, duck, pull, slip, two, three, pull, duck, okay? As long as they, you get into a flow, keep your chin down, keep your balance, it's gonna really help your boxing out for this pressure and continuation. All right, combo number six. This is gonna be the most awkward, most awkward for me, but we gotta do it to balance things out. So here we go. Cross, hook, duck, hook, cross. Then from here, I pull straight back, okay? Not this way, here, but I could here if you want to, okay? Hook, cross, pull, boom, boom. Slip, right hand. So it goes here, cross, hook, Hook, cross, pull, you're squared up, right? I just threw the hook, cross, I throw it again. Slow, pull, pull, slip, boom, okay? So here, let's go slowly, get in that flow. Two, three, hook, hook, boom. Okay, see how that's working? Let me go slowly for you. Two, three, duck, three, two, pull, three, two again, see what I mean? Slip, bump. Two, three, Pull, three, two, slip, two. All right? So that we work different pulls in the middle of the combo so that you have more flow and more options available to you. Okay, you don't have to go hard or fast. You can just work it like a flow. Boom, 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 boom. See, just work it like a flow. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, then when you feel it, okay, then you start to put the speed together with it. All right, you guys, six killer combos that you can work, practical pieces all through them, flow, all built in. It's here for you. You just gotta work on it. Again, like I said, you wanna do these as a workout, go to my other channel, Boxing Home Workouts, it's time workouts there, but I have a workout just with these combos, so you don't have to do all the thinking. I do the thinking for you. And you just go there, you just gotta put in the rounds, put in the work. One final thing, the last combo is a jab to that like button. That's the last combo of the workout. So hit that. Make sure to check out PersistenceStriking.com. All my instructions are there. You wanna learn boxing from the ground up. Everything is there. In the meantime, keep your hands up, chin down, eyes on the prize. Peace.